Vale Contigo Ambiente, new indicators for a better world. This morning we had this very important uh, international conference. Here we are with uh, Mrs. Uh, uh, Alice Newton from, from Portugal. Uh, so, um, let us um, have more information about your speech today. Indicators and of water quality and availability. Can you give us more uh, sheets, information, numbers? Yes, of course. Um, one of the things that's very interesting is that most of the water that we have in our world is not usable for human consumption unless you desalinate it or you treat it in a very expensive way. So we have to think with a growing population and the growing demand for water, we have to think uh, about how we can uh, use our water in a more intelligent way. But we also need some indicators to see how we're doing whether uh, what our policies uh, for treating the water and for using the water are actually working. Um, we've had some good results in Europe. For instance, the Urban Wastewater Treatment Directive uh, has contributed uh, really quite substantially to reducing the phosphate in our rivers and in our lakes. So we've monitored that for the past 20 or 30 years now, and we can really see a downward trend. So this is when we can tell that policy is actually uh, having a good result. But for that, we need sensitive indicators. And the research community, one of my colleagues this morning, showed how the research community is working with policymakers to develop these better indicators. Thank you very much, Alice. See you. Thank, Thank you. you.